Matinee on the campus of York University as we finish off another week in the Canadian Premier League. Match week 16 will draw to a conclusion this afternoon as York United play host to the Halifax Wanderers. We will introduce you first to the Nine Stripes. That is York United, of course, back in their 4-2-3-1. The two changes at the back are the reinsertion of Parrish G at fullback and Noah Abatney. Two changes Patrice Geyser makes from that 1-0 win against Atletico Ottawa last Sunday. Zach Fernandez will be back into the team starting at right back and Mo Omar replacing his captain, Andre Rampersat. These have to be two of the best to do it in their position in the CPL. I have to say it. Fully support that take. That's a bit careless from Abatney. Here's Callum Watson lining up his shot and shooting. Nico Giantsopoulos reaches back and the ball sticks to his gloves. Officially halfway through the first half. Here's Zach Fernandez deflected cross. What a diving effort though. Soaring was Teo Kalam as he looked to score in back-to-back -back matches. Tasty ball from Fernandez. He is oh so good at that. So important that that holding midfielder screens the striker. Make sure you get to the ball before they can. Santos goes inside out on Timoteo. That's going to sit well. Austin Ricci, he's got it in his locker. Just doesn't have it on target this time. Not even a chance. Farron leaped in the air and cut that away. And if Halifax can get free, this is dangerous. Advantage being played, and it's a three on two led by Joao Morelli. Farron's on his left, help on the right as well. Morelli gives it out, but Fernandez stopped up. Cut back. Here's Morelli. For Farron and it gets jammed up. Roger Thompson for the second time today makes a huge save. Indecision though from Halifax that has to be on frame. No excuses otherwise. Bodies strewn across the pitch. Yeah, in those tight spaces, you're looking for a pass or two. Trying to dribble the player at the top of the box. There's the press. Ricci leaves it. Here's the hit. It's a good stop. Orchestrated, Daniels, Caligari, Timoteo makes a pass across, Fernandez, oh, off the post, and in! It is an absolute screamer from Zachary Fernandez! A design play, but even the finish would blow the expectations of the coach that drew that up! And, and you're going to crunch time. You want your team on the same page, feeling their best self. Daniels from Fernandez, turns the corner on Ferrari, low cross and Watson makes a meal of it, hands to face immediately. He's shocked he did not find goal. It should absolutely be 2-0. But like you Ferrari, said. Ferrari, oh that's dangerous. Morelli from Callum Watson, Joel Morelli! He's back, baby! And the Wanderers lead by two goals to nil. Joao Morelli says, remember me? That is a long time in the making. They're going to rely on him heavily as the matches get tighter, the margins get closer. And maybe he's in for a brace, in a race with Roger Thompson. Back heels, looking for Farron. Thompson did super well. Now Daniel settling it down. I'm convinced. You don't have to be. Outswinger this time. Fernandez down. Following up is Atakubi into the mixer. And now another race. Joao Morelli is there. No one else in green is. Oh my goodness. It's four wanderers. Morelli lays it off. Wilson fires. It's the crossbar. What a gift that would have been for Armand Wilson. Shambolic, though. That was Shades of Pacific and Valor earlier in the weekend. It'll be the 4th of September, and they'll meet at Wanderers Grounds for a matinee. Look at this lead pass. Morelli looking for the brace. Inches, inches away from the back post. No, you do not want to see that if you're a Wanderers fan, or a CPL fan for that matter. I think he is definitely a player, though, that any minor contact he gets, you're gonna get a lot of people going, oh. 
until he gets a four, few games under his belt. Nice steal. Dormand and a parry from Philly on. Ferrari tries to break up the clean sheet. Ferrazzo is scampering back into position. Bushman Dormand is able to locate Baldissimo. Via trying to spread out this offense, goes over the top, and that's a great stop from Jan Filion. Uh, you want to know how much a win away from home means for Halifax? Lorenzo Caligari with two minutes to go in the game went right to the corner flag. They don't want to take any chances here. Oh, uh, this is getting silly. Baldissimo, that might be a second yellow. Yeah, straight red and maybe more. They have to be careful. There's protecting your teammate and there's getting unnecessary suspensions in added time. Wright needs to be careful because he had his hands up. Yes, no, I'm, I'm not saying that that's a... Yeah, but it is a, it is a rough, rough tackle. They've finally done it, ladies and gentlemen. The Halifax Wanderers have won away from home at the venue that they will feel like is their home, away from home, and have climbed high in the table, up to fourth position as they get their sixth win of the year on two great goals.